Hey everybody, it's Christina, and I just thought I would um, just show a little bit of what I'm doing tonight for nothing other than just blogging it, I guess. Um, my kitchen is somewhat a mess. You can see it's really a small kitchen. This is it. Our pantry is a disaster. There's bags. There's I'm still moving things into jars um, for storage. Yeah, so it's... We even have storage on the door on both sides because it's it is what it is. Hundred year old house. Um, yeah. So right now, I have got bottles in the oven. They're at three twenty five right now. They're baking for thirty minutes, and uh, then they have to, I have to put them in there cold, and then they are going to. Uh, sitting there until they cool down completely. And then they'll be ready to go home. Salad today, various greens, including uh, pea greens and the flowers even. These are very edible. Violet flowers are edible. I'm gonna be blanching. I've got bok choy. I've gotta add some green onion to this yet. I have um, baked grape leaves in here. Which normally to my salads I'll add like vinegar, or not vinegar, I'll add pickles or something just to give me a little extra flavor. But these have a little bit of a vinegar type taste. And I baked them just like you would kale to make kale chips. I add, uh, I have light ranch in here, which I do watch the sugar. I read labels like crazy of the diabetes. I have uh, Dijon mustard in here for extra flavor and red bell peppers. And I'll be bringing a small snack bag of goldfish crackers just because I feel like having goldfish tonight. Other nights I bring yogurt and uh, fruit. And the yogurt will have a tablespoon of flax and a tablespoon of uh, chia in it. And that's my usual lunch. I thought we'd go outside because hubby's asleep right now. I did have, this is getting weeded out, even though I have lamb's quarter right here, um, which again is the wild spinach. It's related to amaranth. This actually is very common food in Germany. That's what I grew up with. Um, but uh, I have to weed that section out because it's right next to the house. We have blueberries coming in. I only have two blueberry bushes. Next weekend, I want to go to a couple different garden stores and see if I can find at least one more blueberry bush to get some cross-pollination. I have four different types of raspberries that I got from the neighbor last year, and they're growing. There's two. Those two are insane. That one there is a golden raspberry, and I think that one's the red. So they're just going crazy and of course there's the grapevine this thing will have grapes all the way down their champagne grapes very tiny uh, I put in irises took out some of the uh, orange tiger lilies because they just grow like weeds same thing with these purple flowers here they grow like weeds I've got uh, gardenias coming in Uh, and I'm going to be weeding out all of this lamb's quarter back here because that's the neighbor's patch and if I don't weed it, he will. So this week I'm pulling that out and blanching that to freeze. And of course my new food crop. I have various hostas from my mother-in-law. She has 178 varieties of hostas right now. And she divided some up and gave us some. So there's more there. There's more in the front of the house over this way. As you can see, our steps need to be replaced and so does our sidewalk, especially with hubby's MS. Um, tripping over this can end up being really bad. So landlord's coming to do that and I don't know yet. Uh, he's already hinted if we're gonna need a ramp at some point. Um, we're not to that point. I don't think we will be for a couple years yet, hopefully. But it may not be a bad thing to do. These bricks, this, it isn't my place, you know, but these bricks were actually buried underneath of all of this. They were under the dirt. So 
I took those out and added some irises in here. And those are more of those tiger lilies. And we've got peonies here, another hosta there right now. I'm gonna be doing some more rock layout here in the front, I think, just to give myself less to mow. These bushes have been through hell and back. Um, I'm gonna slowly keep pruning them so they look more like trees because they were this big ball that stuck clear to the ground over here and every time the snow comes they just get crushed and that's what happened in the back as they've been crushed too so I'm gonna make them look more like trees and prune them back. Irises! Those are farmers market doing great. I paid six bucks each, which, you know, kind of silly, but they're pretty and they've been just blooming and blooming and blooming. It's awesome. I did have to prune back. We had our urban apple trees. We have three of them together right there. And we had an extra apple growing in there that I had to prune back. And if it doesn't like the pruning and dies, it dies because it wasn't, it's not an urban apple. It doesn't Urban apples grow up columnar, they go straight up, and that one was starting to splay everywhere. So I saved the apple branches because guinea pigs eat apple branches, and they do just fine. I couldn't, I wanted to get tomatoes in this year. I can't, I, I'm doing a lot of things outside by myself, which is fine, hubby's taking care of the inside of the house, and, um, it's just too much, but that's okay, because I have dandelion greens. I eat those. Our strawberries. We have strawberries. These are the alpines. They are pretty much native to Amer Minnesota. And uh, they grow and grow and grow. They will be producing strawberries until September. They're fantastic. Actually, I'm gonna to have to come out here and harvest a bunch before I go to work. So that's part of our food crop. This is the bed that I'm propagating the lamb's quarter in, and I have to thin this out because this is just a bit much. But what I thin out, I'm gonna blanch. We got a composter in. I didn't do anything with that this year. Again, trying to plant is difficult. Um, my catalpa that the deer chopped off completely actually budded and came back so I can't wait till that's a huge tree. And my roses <laughs> are insane. Oh, Oscar, Mina! Hi, Moishi! I opened the window for them today. Mina Mao! She gets really upset when one of us is outside. Mina Mau Mau. Mau. There we go. This rose bush is not doing so good. I have to prune some of it back because some of it did die. But I think this one's not as hardy as that one and that's a problem. But I got um, other hosta variety in here. So once they start going, I'll be able to harvest them because you use them like uh, uh, asparagus, basically, and they taste the same. Then my other edible little crop here, where's my hand? Creeping Charlie. It actually is a food crop from Europe from the 1700s. It was brought over here. And um, of course, it's an insane plant. It just kind of goes everywhere. And I did find out from the U of M that it uh, is edible. And it tastes just a real mild mint. Kind of a mix between cucumber and mint. So really nice plant to have. And I actually think I may take some of these dandelions and put them in my salad for work. So I just thought I'd give you guys an update. And, uh, oh, I got more strawberries in here. Lots more. So I hope you enjoyed the view of my wild garden because it is definitely going wild and it is what it is. But uh, lazy man's garden? I don't know. Oh, one more, one more, one more. 
Solomon seal. This was a Native American edible. The leaves and the roots, they used to use the roots like potatoes. Uh, the only problem is, is if you're on blood sugar medication like I am, it can bottom you out so fast and make your head spin. So I have to be very careful when I start doing that. But that's a new plant that I just got in, so I'm not going to do any harvesting off of it until next year when it starts going. We have the violets there. Their flowers are edible and high in vitamin C. There's more of that orange tiger lily, and I'm taking that out because I want the Solomon seal to spread. So there we go. Edible garden. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go back to my Solomon seal. It's got pretty bell flowers too when it blooms. Anyway, blessed be everybody. Have a great night.